My name is Dr. Sam Saleh. I am a cosmetic dentist. A gum lift is a procedure where we're removing some of the gum tissue. Now, the way I look at the gums, it's like the frame of the beautiful picture, for example. When you're looking at that painting, if it's not framed nicely, then that takes away from the overall aesthetic. So the same thing occurs with the gums. When I'm about to get started with a cosmetic case, I want to make sure that the gum contouring and the levels of the gums are aligned symmetrically and harmoniously. Then you get a much better overall aesthetic. So when we're going in to start a procedure, if there's a particular gum line that's too low, then the gum lift procedure will raise the gum line and bring it into the correct symmetry to create a more harmonious result. A gum lift procedure is a relatively conservative procedure. We anesthetize the patients with local anesthetic so they don't feel any pain at all. Um, and then we use a electrode which basically cauterizes the tissue. So following the procedure, there's no bleeding and the patient will leave the office in a comfortable state where they can go about the rest of their day with really little to no pain. The key to achieving the correct results is obviously the artistry of the doctor. So you have to have an eye to be able to see where the issue is and what area to remove. So in dentistry, a little goes a very long way. So by sometimes removing just ever so slightly from one aspect of a tooth, it will just bring the entire smile into alignment. So I would say, you know, having an acute eye for those little details is what's gonna give you the most impactful result. So it's really bringing more harmony to the smile. Um, in some cases, there's too much gum display. So the ratio of gum to tooth ratio is, is, is poor, and this can result in something which is commonly known as a gummy smile. So by removing the excess gum tissue, you're reducing the amount of gum display on smiling, and that can generally lead to a better aesthetic. So typically um, in, in the face, we're looking at symmetry and harmony. That's what the eye looks at and that's what the eye discerns as something that's beautiful or potentially something that you would have a visual distraction from. So if there is disproportionate gums or if there's a particular gumminess to the smile that's asymmetric or doesn't fit the face well, then by removing that excess gum tissue, you're then reintroducing that harmony and that can bring an overall facial aesthetic enhancement in terms of bringing better alignment, better symmetry, less gummy to tooth ratio, and that's where the enhancement lies. So in cases where there is excessive gum tissue um, and we're removing the gums, what we're effectively doing is creating an environment that's easier to clean. So there's less potential for bacteria to accumulate underneath that excessive gum tissue. So for the overall long-term health of the patient, it's desirable as well because it reduces some of that impaction area where food and debris can collect. The recovery of a gum lift is relatively easy. What we advise patients to do is implement excellent oral hygiene. So we do instruct on that night that they continue brushing their teeth to the gum line because we want to make sure that there's no food or bacteria left at the incision site. I'm a big fan of oil pulling, so I do recommend that my patients do oil pulling for five to 10 minutes um, following the procedure. I find that this reduces the possibility of inflammation. It's obviously removing the bacteria from the site which also improves healing of the site much faster.